We're saving people's saves today. Random people's football manager saves. If one more person sends me a save where they need loans to fix it, so help me, FM gods, I will sing. Loans. Loans. I've started a meme singing about loans, but I hope that that serves to remind you that loans are always an option. Seriously, they help. First save, Wormy or Walnut with Dover Athletic in England, also managing the English national team. I've been in charge of Dover Athletic for seven years. Last year, we stayed up with a team that was good enough for League One. Don't ask how we got there, I don't know either. I bolstered the squad over the summer and have some more players set to join. Our scouting hasn't been great, only coming back with championship or lower players. I'm also not finding the quality of players for cheap in midfield like I have in past saves. I can't get the board to upgrade any facilities and have no youth system, honestly. Oh, also statistically by player stats, attributes player attributes how dare you we are like the worst team in the league so there's that thanks e for the help you're welcome hopefully we can help well i load this up i just want to tell you i like to do at least one save in england because i feel like at least 40 percent of the people that play football manager play a save in england and so dealing with the progression through those leagues is always very helpful that statistic is brought to you by zealand's brain with no basis in fact at all none Okay, so we're Dover. We are in the Premier League. Oh, for... This isn't really what Save Your Saves is for, is it? I, I mean, I like to do a balance of saves, you know, from one point to the next. And you never play Football Manager perfectly. Like, I could watch my own save on Twitch. Link in the description if you want to check that out. And nitpick it and save it. You know, you could have done this, you could have done that. But by and large, we are succeeding. By and large, you are succeeding. Now your scouting is set up regionally. You, you could be doing better there. The players are really good. They're not League One level. If you were in League One, you wouldn't lose a game. And I can basically guarantee that. I'm pretty sure I could train a monkey to actually build a good enough tactic to not lose a game with this team in League One. Now I do think we can use this to highlight one thing that I see a lot of people do. And this, is, this isn't just the like, I wanna brag about my save. I mean, seriously, congrats. You're having a great save. But it is the, the assumption that your team is worse than it is. And here is the cure for that. Look at the teams that you want to be better than. Say you wanna be better than a classic West Ham. We just looked at one of your center backs. Let's look at one of their center backs. And when you can see, even though you don't have the exact scouting there, I mean, that young Serbian guy is every bit as good as Ere Kumert. Like seriously, can match him is right there. That absolutely amazing fullback that you have, he's got 17 Columbia caps at 19, is every bit as good as Fode Balotore. Like every bit as good, not to mention younger and is going to get better. So drop the whole comparison screen thing here because your comparison screen is essentially lying to you about the actual quality of your team. Now, why this is happening, I honestly don't know. It could be the quality of your analysis team. Maybe you were letting somebody else hire your staff. Decent, decent uh, analysts. No, you don't. I mean, Oliver Butler's trash. And this guy could probably be better. Your analysts aren't bad. The last thing it could possibly be outside of comparison being broken is that the bottom part of your squad is not Premier League standard. I'm looking at a couple of these guys. Somebody like this would really drag down that squad comparison because it is just lying to you. Your team is good enough. Look at the players on other teams, compare your players to them, and you know what you should be able to achieve. You're achieving what you can achieve right now. Hi, it's Zealand. I know I'm saving saves right now. But if you hit the subscribe button, you save me. Help, I'm trapped. Mom! Next! We have Splash Code with Dynamo Dresden. I'm in my fourth season with Dynamo Dresden. I feel a bit stuck. Managed to win the two Bundesliga in my first season. Finished the second season mid-table. Despite what I think are good signings, I struggle to get performances out of my team. I think my main problem might be tactics. Right now, I use the second tactic. It works decently. However, my team really struggles to take the ball out of defense. Often doesn't make the obvious passes to my midfielders. Could use some advice on tactics and recruitment and how to take this team to the European places. I have a fair number of good youth prospects as well, but no one wants to take them on loan. I don't know how to develop them as all my matches are important and I can't make the time to give them minutes. Okay. So we take a look at a save that has stagnated. You have your fabulous promotion in your first season, then 10th 
and ninth, and in your third season in the top flight, you've started out in 13th. This is a place that a lot of people playing Football Manager have found themselves in repeatedly. You use the second tactic, and you said you have a real problem playing the ball out of defense. Shout out to you for having Leonidas Sturge, you former Wonder Kid center back, and you have Jorge Smolcic, a name that I've absolutely butchered, but a player that I know is decent. Your left back is good, but this guy is not. Trey's a nice guy. What Vessel Dimaku? I love Vessel Dimaku. But having looked through your team, I, I think there, there, there are a couple of problems that could be preventing you from playing out of the back. We'll start there. One, standard of passing in this team is not fantastic, especially when you consider that you're playing in the Bundesliga, right? Stiller is the best passer on your team. He's got 15-14 with 12 decisions. Composure is plenty good enough to be able to do this, but the anticipation, the decisions, those things that are important for being able to decide where to go next. He is not class. Finale, Bakker, and Kade are even worse. Three of your four defenders are solid with it. Second thing is you are extremely narrow, which means it is possible for teams with just two pressers to actually be able to apply pressure on you because you aren't stretching them out enough for you to be able to distribute that way. You also force the ball to your center backs. Now, goalkeepers are, are prone to sending the ball long when they hint at some pressure. When somebody starts to run towards them, they could be in trouble. And you just distribute to the center back. So a ball to the center back, if they have two strikers or they're playing a 4-2-3-1, which is my opinion is the most effective Pressing formation, you've got those four people to tie up everybody. You can keep them in that half of the field. You roll the ball to a center back or you take a short kick to the center back in this case. And, and then the center back goes back to the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper hits it long. I'm willing to bet that happens to you all, all the time. I want you to open that up. And honestly, what I would recommend is if you want to play the ball short, rolling it out seems to be better in this match engine. So roll it out to your entire back line gives the goalkeeper more options to take advantage of a bad press. Something else that I will use often if you are playing against a 4-2-3-1, which you will play against a 4-2-3-1 all the freaking time is a halfback. So let's bring up a little tactic animation. The halfback is going to get between your center backs. This is going to create essentially a back three, which is going to tie up three of the four pressers in a 4-2-3-1 and should open up one of the wing backs for you to actually get the ball to, or you've got your box to box midfielder who's sitting in that wider channel that you're going to be able to get the ball to in that instance, because they are in front of the other two midfielders in a 4-2-3-1. The halfback has been my go-to for breaking a 4-2-3-1 press in FM22. Tiny little last bit, I think be more expressive can be dangerous when you're not generally the more talented team and having looked through your squad, you are generally not the more talented team playing in the Bundesliga at this point. And whenever I see that, I think your main issue is player recruitment. I don't think it's your tactic, even though I wanted to take an opportunity to talk about that, but I think player recruitment is where you are lacking. If I look at the potential of your players. I don't see a lot of guys that are sitting there with a particularly bright future. And the time-honored way to build teams in Football Manager is to get young guys in with greater potential before other big clubs get them. Now, I know since you're in Germany, they will eventually go to Bayern like every other great player in the Bundesliga. That is just the time-honored tradition. But you get that lovely window before they go to Bayern. And let's be honest, then they just get to lose to Villarreal anyways, which is a town of 50,000 people. So you can get the last laugh. You don't have control of your scouting. You just want to say that you're fine, but you're not. Not, and you'll never be okay again. And how could they do this to you? It's unbelievable. You have the money. Financially sound. Just set up nation scouting, look at U20 national teams, and you'll be able to contend for European places in no time, dude. I can't. I love you, dude, but I can't. You have it all there. It's all there. It's all there. My partner and I are hosting a Danish exchange student next year. So I started to save with their team. Save has gone well as far as tactics, living and dying by the double met sala and results, but I'm having problems developing players. See Frederick Eiler and Davy Barrios. Both have been in the first team for the better part of two years. There's only been a noticeable improvement in physical attributes, which seems due to age development more than, you know, any training. I have no idea how to improve my training. With a few promising young players joining the squad, I want to make sure I can maximize their development. Please help lay the groundwork for my development club. This is literally a problem we've never actually had on Save Your Saves before. This is somebody saying, my players are not developing as well as I think they should. Shout out to having Patrick Pence, a member of my Austrian national team on save. But okay, let's look at Davy Barrios. The way we track this is development progress, and then we can see attributes, and we can see a, any clear increase in things like heading. We can see a clear increase in 
strength it went up and kind of went back down and something like you know bravery hasn't really increased and we've actually seen the composure go up and down and end up back at 12. So the first thing i'm going to do is check the history because good match ratings are one of the most important things for developing players once they turn 18. and as we can see match ratings are good so then we go to training facilities four stars training facilities the only facilities that will affect the development of a player once they come through your youth intake youth facilities are for players that are not in the game yet junior coaching youth recruitment obviously all for players that are not in the game yet so training facilities the only facilities that you're using in this instance as for your coaching staff we see it is fabulous so that's obviously not the concern and davy barrios mentality might be i'm gonna let you in on a little secret you might have noticed that we're doing the, these videos on training more to come is part of a series on training and part of training is player development what we have noticed is that it is harder to develop players on fm22 than it has been in the past it, it just is why we don't know now the personality of davy barrios is not helping and is one of the main things that i think is contributing to struggling player development let me show you i have a player on my team named danny ding now from the moment we signed danny ding he didn't have five star potential but we have seen a really massive improvement in his attributes just since he joined but this is literally since january he trialed before signing i honestly don't even think he was around the team until about november and so january he starts training with the team we see a massive tick up uh in in a lot of attributes he's gone from low 13 to high 14 on passing the only thing i see that he really has not gone up is kind of anticipation i think is off the ball has stayed the same but i mean look at the technique it's just gone flying up everything else is tilting up and you see it on the actual progress graph he's been making insane progress even though his potential isn't actually as high i've always said potential and ability to reach it are two different things you need both in both cups you have your potential of a player but they need to have the ability to reach it which you know good facilities coaches training regime that works for them good match ratings all that stuff who the player is as a person seems to be a really significant contributing factor to whether they're going to actually develop and get to that potential or not more so than it has been in any other football manager now there is a video coming soon because i haven't made one in about two years that is essentially the tips for developing young players in fm i look forward to that and it'll be more complete than this is right now but just know developing players is a little more challenging and seems to be a little more personality dependent now with somebody like frederick eiler he has better personality media handling being reserved is actually the best you can have on media handling that means i just think this dude is not someone with potential that's actually that high and that totally happens i call these people illusionists their potential comes in higher everybody rates their potential high they just can't reach it you've given them good playing time you get good coaches you got good facilities you have good personality and media handling they're 20 years old by the time they turn 21 they still haven't made a significant leap forward time to sell and capitalize on the value and move on you are looking for the ones that you can build to the future and i don't think frederick eiler is one of them next we have j lab with eskilstuna i'm currently doing a save in the lower leagues of sweden with ifk eskilstuna where i took over the side at mid-season and kept them up i have started my first full season at the club and things are going well board increased the weekly wages a ton which has allowed me to rebuild the squad to go from a side predicted to go mid-table to title contenders we are currently top my problem is my affiliate with Exfilstuna, which has a clause that prevents me from playing in the same division as them. Will I find myself not being able to be promoted if they get relegated despite winning the league? They're currently bottom of the second tier. So the save doesn't actually need any saving. Here's how this works. If you end up in the same division as your affiliate, the affiliation ends. It just gets canceled. It does not prevent you from moving into a division and it does not lock you into a division if they get relegated. That's it. So good news next Ilya. i've been doing well in competitions i feel like i perform well in the market i just feel like i'm not getting my younger players to develop well do you have any advice now to get people like buzio carvalho magno rooney and are now to develop better i watched your whole scouting video i cannot get reports on some of my scouts but we already talked about that development in some length this is clearly a problem that multiple people are having because i'd never addressed this before on save your saves but now we have two that have come in the same issue as for the scouting i'm going to check and it is all done correctly what i would say is the six people doing nothing get them doing something we've basically figured out that having those people doing nothing doesn't speed up your scouting in a major way so get them on something that was loud what i want you to understand is that a player 
only shows up in reports if you have not scouted them again. This is a weird intricacy that can throw you off visually, but if you are looking at your assignments and it says like no player has shown up in any of the reports, that just means you have taken them from that report and, and scouted them. It's something that when we were testing the scouting, we noticed the fact that these would go from like five to zero if you were starting to scout those players and that that's why on the scouting tests we use knowledge as a barometer and not raw reports because we didn't have the ability to track those the switch to nation scouting is based off of my own experience having switched to it in my save after a year and a half and after it showed better results when it came to producing knowledge in the country. I know there've been a lot of people, especially on Reddit, that have been debating the, the merit of knowledge when it comes to scouting and the fact that it does go down over time as scouts rotate through things. And it's kind of this amalgamous blob that is not super well understood because football manager makes itself opaque. <gasps> but I have officially talked for too much about something that you probably don't care about. I realize that. I am constantly walking on a fence between people that are like, yeah, I use the preset Gagan press and just copy everything you do in your videos to people that actually do more intense scouting tests than me, which one, if you're doing more intense scouting tests than me, email me, please. I would love to make videos about it. Like seriously, if you think you can go, what, wait about, what about this? That is how the entire group of training testers has actually come about, is people that emailed me like that. I'd love to work with you. Because at the end of the day, we just wanna figure out the best way to do this stuff to recommend to people. But don't go off the reports, go off your own eye and experience about players coming through your scouting center as to whether your scouting is working or not, and put these lads to work. On the player development, the last thing I'll say is using mentoring groups to try and better the personality and the behind the scenes attributes of individual players seems like a good way to go about it. And other than that, we got a video coming out about it soon, but it is harder to develop players. And some of them just don't have that potential to reach. It is an illusion. Illusionists are not super irregular. There was a player in our Twitch save, Owen Vanderhorst, that did not develop for the first year, year and a half, almost two years, and then it clicked. Now, I feel like that's cool. That's more realistic. It's also incredibly annoying. So I really hope that's not what's, <laughs> that what we find for our development video. But if it is, sanity everywhere is threatened. But the saves... I've been saved. Hopefully this can help you out in your save as well. If you like watching Save Your Saves, good news. We've been doing it once a month for like a year and a half. Here is the most recent one and you can just power your way on through the entire playlist because you can binge. That is your right.